For the past year, we have made every effort to save this beautiful 120-year-old plane tree. We were coming to our final hearing where Haringey was going to be given the injunction to stop us protesting. And at the same time, the owner of one of the houses impacted by the subsidence, he took out an emergency injunction against Haringey to try and stop them cutting the tree down. He is concerned that if the tree is cut, the insurers will not do the work of underpinning to secure his house. And this is work that the Ombudsman's ruling a few years ago uh, said that should be done and paid for by the insurers. Unfortunately, it was ruled in favour of Haringey. So we're just waiting at the moment. His injunction still stands until Wednesday. And there is a possibility that the house owner will appeal the ruling against him in the High Court. Uh, so we wanted to come today and potentially say goodbye to the tree, although we don't know. Things could change overnight. On this good green earth, we will take a stand with an open heart and a healing hand. We lost the Holt Farm Oak in Rochford, Essex, a few weeks ago. Watching it come down and mourning its loss has been hard but I do believe no action is ever in vain. Although we lost the tree, we've got a great community there of campaigners who now are so much more aware of the importance of the trees in their community, yes. biodiversity. Oh, and, uh, yeah, and hopefully all these local people coming together can join up nationally and bring some change that's much needed. There's trees all around the country which are being cut and are being threatened. And I think they're reaching the headlines now because communities are saying no. The general public are realising how important they are and we need to protect them. <laughs>